I lay my eyes in a rare book which I was searching, only to find a shrew I never knew was missing. The pages turn on memories and laughter of life and love with each passing chapter. I sit in this very spot as I ponder and reminisce, thoughts towards the shrew and one that I would eventually kiss. The searching soul of my curious eyes. Today seeks a book, but love may surprise. The undying cries of a damaged heart flies. These feelings are deep, but will eventually rise. I seek a rare edition, as the latest bore lies, and damage this once fresh copy that slowly dies. For when I see her, will my tongue be stone? And spelt with a curse, sink through flesh to the bone. I'll scale the steps, walk the corridors alone, until I tame that rare bird to call my own. So when I wander the hallways of this jumbled world, my mind searches the map for a particular girl. That one girl that wanders through my mind, that perfect girl that I will never find. One that will give me as much as I give, one that will tame me but still let me live. One that will counteract my every approach. One that will pass me the notes I evoke. For my soul is clear and ever searching. When I'm not looking, the thoughts are still lurking. Behind every corner, wall path or bookshelf, I search for the one to make me feel myself. Discovering a good book is a mighty find, but to discover a perfect match will satisfy this eager mind. For knowledge will bring power and take me far, but won't guide me directly to that undying star. A star that lights every time that she smiles, a star that is worth my life is worthwhile. For we would not continue if we did not think this way, but we will act out our overdue never ending play. We both know how we will feel when our eyes first meet, but will you give in to this gentleman's greet? Excuse me. Yeah, can you tell me where um, 817.063 is? Yeah, it's not on this floor, it's upstairs, oh. actually. Oh, okay. thank you. Cheers. For she will know me better than I know myself. Flowers in the springtime will improve a man's health. I'll be a typical male and wrap my feelings in steel. Maybe she's not on my level as I know how that feels. The most beautiful fish I'll catch and I'll reel. There are many in the sea that would just make a good meal. But I'll search for the catch that will give me much more. Than a full stomach, I seek a hope I adore. The fact that I would arrive on something so pure with windows of eyes so true and so sure. We glanced for a second, you saw me, I kinda reckoned you liked the look of what you saw and I saw your eyes rise and immediately hit the floor. For sure this girl knows the score, the most beautiful specimen my eyes should adore. But shallow is man that just cradles beauty, for she must have brains and not just see straight through me. But why is she here upon levels of books, away from the drunks, the drugs and the crooks?
Will she have a shell or listen to this crab? Or will the shell be her home, turtle impenetrable for my stab? Or will she fly free from the sea and just bring a sting? She's unknown to the great trends that this wasp will bring. A library of rows of many book spines to break when a space gets too cramped for this one man to create. I'll break the immovable search to show her my intention. This hard nut to crack will teach many lessons. A million stories untold to deaf ears, filled with courage and love and many tears. My worst fears shrink behind this one tracked mind as I search for this rare edition that I must find. Taming of the Shrew, rare edition with the original ending. Yes. Are you studying it? Whatever gave you that idea. Have this one instead. Latest edition introduction by Kenneth Branner. I'll swap you. I'm fine with this one, thanks. Excuse me, please. May I? Will you be long with it? As long as it takes. <laughs> as long as what takes? I'll let you work that one out. Do you have a name? No, I don't have one. How about I just call you Kate? How about you don't? For you are called plain Kate. Bonnie Kate. The prettiest Kate in town. Kate of Kate Hall. Super dainty Kate. For dainties are all Kates and therefore the one and only Kate. So let me guess, you must be Petruchio? Yes, they call me Petruchio, that do talk of me. Really? I thought you were just immovable. Movable? As in, part of the furniture. You stall. I know what you meant. All right then, take a seat. Don't be such an ass. Asses are made to bear. Speaking of which... If only men were made to bear, assuming you are one. Oh, heavens, Kate. I wouldn't even think of burdening you with my legacy. For knowing you to be so young and carefree. Far too young for the likes of you to catch. What makes you think you're the catch that I'm after? Besides, it looks like you've got your hands occupied with something way beyond even my age. Well, some things improve with age. How about if I buy you dinner? Not with the likes of you. <laughs> Not even if I let you foot the bill. <laughs> Just as I thought. You're a vulture out to get your claws on whatever you can. If I'm a vulture, then you're a turtle. It's going to be hard to break through your tough shell even with my claws. Yes, you are learning fast. May as well give up now and leave. Oh, come my little wasp. You're far too angry. If I'm a wasp, look out for my sting. All I have to do is find it and remove it. Yes, if a fool such as yourself could find it. Now everyone knows where a wasp wears its sting. In its tail. In this case, it's in your tongue. Anyway, I have to leave. You're leaving with my tongue in your tail? I may have to strike thee for that remark. And I may have to cuff you if you try to strike. Not if you want to keep your arms. If you tried to cuff me, you are not a gentleman. I don't need arms for what I've got planned for you. Really? You sure? I'm a hard girl to handle. And how will you handle me with no arms? I would give up my arms gladly if you'll be my hen. Sorry. You're not the cock I'm looking for. Oh, that's harsh. Are you always like this? I am. You'd better get used to it. I would love to get used to it. Can I have your number? Sorry, not going to happen. So I'm taking all these insults for nothing? I'm afraid so. Oh, come on now, Kate. Don't look so sour. Well, I can't help it when I see a crab. Why, there's no crab here. No need to look so sour. Of course there is. Then show me. What, you mean my face? What a clever child he is. You know what? You're right. I probably am too young for you. <laughs> Maybe, but you're wrinkled all the same. And that's exactly the way you like it, right? <laughs> I don't think so. Listen, I think you should let me leave now. I'll make you angry if I stay. No, not at all. 
for you are funny, playful and beautifully behaved. As sweet as flowers in springtime. Let's go for lunch. I don't think so. You are a hard nut to crack. Anyway, about the book. It's obvious you won't part with it that easily, so how about I'll give you something in return? What could you possibly have that I would want? How about the first original edition of Taming of the Shrew? Which print? The 1594 edition. Do you take me for a fool? Nobody has that in their possession. A book collector would. Hmm. Why this one? This is the only quarto edition printed by William Stansby, which has the original ending. I'd love to give it to you, but I need it for my studies. I'll tell you what. You keep the book. Let's not waste this day any longer and just go for a coffee. How do I know that you're not planning on snatching this book from me when I'm not looking? Kate, I am a gentleman. I'll think about it. Well, have you thought about it? How about I wait for you at the coffee shop on the ground floor until you make up your mind? You may be waiting until they kick you out. I'm willing to wait all day and night if I have to. You don't even know my name. Oh, but I do, Kate. So are you coming? How long are you going to resist my charms? <laughs> I can resist your charms all day long. I'm sure you must be a little intrigued by me. So would you like a latte or a hot chocolate? Neither. I don't drink coffee or chocolate. I'm a hard girl to please. You sure you can handle me? I may end up breaking your heart. I'm willing to take the challenge. I'll be waiting. And I won't say goodbye just yet. See you soon. We'll see. For I shall release your mind from the television grind from which I believe I am free. But from these square thoughts, I will release thee. Rise these dead young souls with fake tans, makeup vans and orange stained hands as they are the modern trolls of manufactured bands, consuming fizzy drinks, cans and reality TV fans. Die shall thee with thunderbolts, brain dead shrews, as they will never cannon fodder upon my newly laced boots. For these are laced. For those that see true, and for that one second, I saw the good in you.
And don't forget in the dim past we all lived in water. For centuries our earth was toxic. <sighs> but that atmosphere evolved mankind's force. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? How was your day? Yeah, not too bad, yours. Yeah, it's good. I was watching that. We found food. So, uh, where's my food cup of tea? Intelligent beings. Oh, oh, God. Suppose they do look like lizards. Couldn't they be people? Hmm? Suppose they saw the ship, got frightened, then donned their lizard costumes, eh? then jumped up and down to spook us away. <laughs>